you mentioned it earlier, but I want to talk about how you got the office. Like, how did that come about? I auditioned for the pilot uh, in February. I, I auditioned for the part of Jan. Clearly, they went a different way. Uh, so, um, <laughs> and then um, in August, they were auditioning. And actually, Allison Jones, the casting director, said, she, she said, I really think you're right for this show. I don't know if this is the part, but the show. So in August, I got a call uh, right around Labor Day weekend. And I remember I couldn't make it. I had a ticket to Chicago. I was like literally on, on getting on the plane to Chicago. And they didn't find who they needed before Labor Day weekend. So the day after Labor Day, I got to go in and, or whatever that week. And uh, by the time I got home, I found out I got the job. But I wasn't sure exactly sure what the job was, like how long it was going to last. I think they were kind of working it out. Because, I mean, clearly, I, I was afraid that they were just going to put a red wig on somebody, have pay somebody else's back of the head, you know, and then I just show up for when I talk. <laughs> but clearly, um, they had a better idea than that. So I actually kept my restaurant job the first season of The Office because I didn't know if we were going to get picked up. Wow. I mean, and that's what you have to do in entertainment. You can't just get rid of something in hopes something is going to happen. Well, I think, you know, I also felt like I had done that before because when I first worked at Second City, I remember quitting my job <laughs> at Cafe Barbariba in Chicago, like, woohoo! And then I'm like, oh, wait, what am I making? Oh, that's not as much as I, oh, shit. So, yeah, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, for sure. Uh, before I get to a couple questions, and I have some more questions after that, or for some questions for the audience, um, what do you have some audition tips for some of the young younger performers or some of the performers that are, are are looking to move up into television um you know it's so weird i feel like i can't say that i feel great a great like i'm a great auditioner um but i think the best thing you can do is just be yourself or, or just be do what you do and i know that sometimes people twist themselves in a pretzel and you know and now we have to put ourselves on tape it's so like do you do you agonize with six takes and feel like, oh my God, you know, I have to do it different or whatever. There's a point where you kind of, I, I realize that I know that they're rooting for me. Like they want to hire someone and they're hoping that when they're going through these tapes or when you're coming into the room, that you are the one so they can stop the process. So that to me was the most, the most important piece of information because that was lost on me for years. I was like, they're looking to pill me, pick me apart. No, no, no. They actually want to relax and just enjoy what you're doing. So the more committed and relaxed you are, the more, you know, like as in any performance, don't make your audience nervous, especially when they're auditioning you. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I mean, I think obviously um, trying to enjoy it is, is very helpful. <laughs> make it attempt. 